okay so what is a coverage ratio coverage ratio measures the firm's ability okay firm's ability to service its fixed liabilities okay to service its fixed liabilities okay. what does it include your fixed liabilities will include your interest then interest on loans then your preference dividend your installment okay then repayment of preference shares then debentures okay all these are fixed liabilities so firm's ability to service its fixed liabilities okay will be calculated using a coverage ratio now here we will be learning what is interest coverage ratio interest coverage ratio as the name itself suggest your interest coverage ratio means the firm's ability to pay its interest or any other fixed charges or obli obligations which are similar in the nature of interest okay so this ratio is also known as times interest earned ratio times interest earned ratio that is interest earned ratio that is number of times the profit earned is more than the interest expense time interest earned ratio okay so it will indicate the firm's ability to meet interest or any other fixed charges or obligations okay so how it uh, is it computed it is ebit upon your interest ebit is earnings before interest and tax upon your interest expense okay so and things before interest and taxes are used in the numerator of this ratio because the ability to pay interest is not affected by the tax burden okay as interest on debt fund is deductible expense in your tax while making a provision for taxation you can deduct your interest expense so your interest expense is not having any tax burden that is why we are using ebit that is earning before tax and interest okay this ratio indicates the extent to which earnings may fall without causing an embarrassment to the firm regarding the payment of interest charges okay so a high interest coverage ratio means that an enterprise can easily meet it meet its obligation even if earning before interest and tax suffer a considerable decline say suppose in a particular year there is a reduction in the earning before interest and tax if we calculate this ratio and this ratio is more than 1 then that means the firm has a ability to pay its interest payment okay the low end ratio indicates excessive use of debt or inefficient see in the operations okay now let's take one example and calculate your interest coverage ratio now this is the example in the books of xyz profit and loss account for the year ended 31st 3 2017 okay on the credit side you have particulars okay amount debit side your particulars amount so credit side you have gross profit after charging depreciation of 1 lakh that comes to 12 lakh 50000 and by income of on the investment 50000 by miscellaneous income 2000 so that comes to 1302000 then on the debit side you have expenses like administrative expenses is 3 lakh selling and distribution expenses 1 lakh then to interest 50000 to loss on sale of fixed assets is 12000 to goodwill return of 15000 to tax provision is 4 lakh 12000 to net profit is 4 lakh 13000 okay now let's calculate your interest coverage ratio so interest coverage ratio is nothing but ebit that is earnings before interest and taxes 
divide by your interest okay so earnings before interest and taxes means how do we calculate that you take your net profit that is 4 lakh 13000 plus your tax provision how much is that 4 lakh 12000 plus your interest expense that is 50000 divided by 50000 that is your interest okay so if you calculate this it comes to 17.5 that means your ebit is 17.5 times greater than your interest expense so interest coverage ratio is high right so that means you have funds to cover your interest obligation and you can easily cover your interest obligations okay you having this net profit and this type of cash tax provision and the interest so, so this ratio helps us to analyze that how far can we cover our fixed liabilities okay which are recurring in nature like interest on debentures interest on loans etc okay so this was about your interest coverage ratio thank you